5. I want to talk about uncommon favor. Psalms 5 verse 12. And I will talk about so many things about favor and repeat some a few times. Even when I repeat, please write. Write. It will be for your own good. If I repeat several times, write. It will be for your own good. Can we read it together? For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous with the favor. You will surround him as with a shield. Let's read it again. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous with the favor. You will surround him as with a shield. Favor is not an accident. You know, I know some of you, ukiweka hapa, kanya kanya, you know those kind of things. You know, so we live in those kind of uh, world. But favor is not an accident. It is a deliberate design of God. It is God who has designed it. So that he can reward you for acts of obedience. Which is actually invisible to others. Favor. Others might not even have a clue or understand. It is invisible to others. But God comes to you. Favor is when God causes someone to desire to become a problem solver in your life. Amen? Favor is an attitude of goodness towards you. Favor is the willingness. Favor is the desire and the participation of someone to help you advance or obtain something you want. That's what favor is all about. Favor actually isn't a mere miracle, but it is a reward of faithfulness. Maybe let me say it again. Favor isn't a mere miracle, but it is a reward of faithfulness. So you cannot really wait doing some, nothing for a miracle of favor to knock at your door. It will not work. It will not happen. Favor increases when you associate with the people of integrity. You see, favor increases as you you, 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 you know, I don't know how you feel when you walk into a bank eh, and you are queuing. Then the manager comes and you're almost last. He says, Bishop, sinikuona kidogo. Si kukuona na kuona adagu kusaidia yu story kuwa nao kwa laini. Iyo ni favor buwana. Na labda, ni kwa sababu alikuona na tajiri fulani. You know, because these people, they have something they want to sell to you. You know, favor is like that. Or by coincidence, one time you walk in the bank, na pesa hata ikuwa yako. Ulikuwa umetumwa na cheki ya mtu mwingine. One day, nilikuwa hivyo. Natoa pesa backless TRM. Tuvuke, tuende KCB. Kwa hivyo, tukatoa 1.5 million. Wakauliza utabeba na mnagani? Si hivi. Weka kwa bahasha. Weka bahasha tatu. Natuko nae, nikampatia moja. Nikampa mbili. Nani nikabeba moja. Tukavuka. Barclays. Tukaenda KCB. Sasa, nikitoka Barclays, manager haka kuja, haka I would like to see you, sir. We have more things that we are selling. There are some other products that you have no idea. <laughs> Sasa, nikajua, oh, easy chapa. So, there are some favors that happen for you actually to you and it is not because it is your association. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because of associating yourself with some people of integrity, then favor flows in your direction that way. Bless the name of the Lord. So favor comes to your direction. So it is not just merely a miracle. It is a reward. Favor increases when you associate with the people of integrity. Remember Boaz. Boaz had a great reputation for in integrity. And Ruth went there to glean in his field. And you know what? That association brought blessing because she was involved. Favor is as the special affection of God towards you. And when God favors you, 
it releases on you an influence. On you. So that others are inclined to like you. Amen. And to cooperate with you. And I want to declare to you in this year of uncommon favor. May this statement be true. That the affection of God towards you will, will cause and release influence that will cause others to be inclined to like you. Jan, I'm saying that some of you will be liked from today. There are people that will like you. They never liked you before, but because of uncommon favor, you will be liked because there will be an influence that will be flowing from you. Hallelujah. Influence. Oh, I like that. Yes, they will like you and they want to cooperate with you. Favor. Actual fact, somebody said favor is not fair. Favor is not fair. Favor is not fair. Whoa! Favor is not fair. Favor is not fair. Favor is not fair. No, let me say it again. Rosemary, favor is not fair. Because it is favor. No wonder some people have been asking questions. See you, Jimmy, to resume an eye. Eh, to resume an eye. So what? Favor is not fair. At you, so you are going to carry that according to Dio. When you come in, you Favor is not fair. Oh, I beat him in mathematics. So what? Favor is not fair. Oh, he lives in his own house. So what? Because favor is not fair. And I pray that God will give you that favor. Oh, man. That favor will go before you, will pursue you, will overtake you. Because favor is not fair. Have you ever, never sat somewhere and you analyzed some people? Remember the song we sang? <laughs> Naked, to thee come for what? For dress. Helpless, come to you for what? For grace. You know what we are saying is that sometimes, and that is what I want. I want God to release favor towards me. That God will release favor towards me. That people will locate me. People will look for me. People will look for you. But I said it is not a miracle. You cannot go kneeling. You cannot go to Cataloni. You don't go to Cataloni for favor. You become faithful. And favor will pursue you. Maybe you are not understanding. I am saying this. Joseph was a prisoner. Favor followed him there. Joseph was a slave. Favor followed him there. Because favor is not fair. How oh, bless the name of the Lord. The favor of God is what determines the limit of every man's destiny. The favor of God. It is the one that determines the limits of every man's destiny. Once you are favored, you are made. Yeah. Once God favors you, it's enough. Then the Lord continues releasing his grace upon you. But I, I, I also know that some, some of us are favored by God, but after God has done a few things, we think. And I, I know, you, you know, I don't know whether you have, you have um, had an accident. Maybe you're coming from Nakuru and a vehicle passes you and in a few steps down the road, you meet it in an accident. And then as you pass it, you think how good you are. Have you ever thought about that? You know, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, but I know some of you have this tendency. You know, my sharpness. Can I surprise some of you that the professors are here? Some of you are actually favored by your professor. Maybe you never used the, wrong, the right grammar, but they thought the story was okay. And because you don't know. You know, there are some... Wewe, turudi, wale tulifanya Saturday 7... Yetu ilikuwa mzuri sana. Kira kitu ilikuwa A, B, C, D. Iyo yetu ilikuwa A, B, C. Kwa hivyo ungeaomba tu. Useme, 
Nitaweka B zote and you are sure huwezi anguka 00 B zote huwezi anguka 00 I know the class 7 ya siku zetu yote yote ilikuwa ni A B C D yote yote kigereza kiswahili na hiyo general studies ilikuwa A B C D lakini sasa it for four hiyo composition yako unaringaka ni kizungu unajua na labda ni mwalimu aliyekuwa akimaki aliangalia language yako akapendezwa nayo akakupatia marks kwa sababu kuna wengine ukiandika vibaya kama kuku hata asomi inaweza kuwa hadithi ni nzuri lakini hasa kwa hivyo kuna wengine hapa ni neema tu ni favor ya Mungu it is the favor of the lord so you cannot stand back and say no me naongea kiingereza ya queen's english my friend favor is not fair favor is not fair but favor is what determines the limits of every man's destiny because once you are favored then you are made and i pray that god will favor us that the favor of the lord will be upon us so that we can be made in this year of uncommon favor favor is the mother of destiny favor is what converts labor into fortune did you hear that that i could be very hard working but favor converts my labor into fortune niseme tena kuna wengine hapa pesa wanapokea nyingi amen lakini ataka proti kununua inakuwa kagumu because favor is the one that turns that labor into fortune Vijana wengine hapa walianza kuendesha gari wakiwa sijui 21 na sisi tuliendesha tukiwa 50 something ndio tulifanya driving Nasema habari ya wengine hapa si ndio Yeah Mimi niliendesha nikiwa 19 lakini kwetu ni karatega kulima Haikuwa yetu ilikuwa rafiki yangu nilimpeleka kufanya biashara mali lale Tukua mali lale akaniambia kemani vile utakuwa ukifanya mimi nauza vitu lakini wewe unakanyanga mafuta unawakicha kidogo unateremuka alafu unapiga breki Ninatoa vitu kwa hivyo nikitoka mali lale nilikuwa najua kuendesha nilimuendesha kutoka mali lale mpaka Nyahururu 1974 Kwetu kulikuwa na gari hapana baskili kuna baskili because favor is not fair I, i know you might not even understand what i'm talking about but if god can bring it to your heart that you know it it is when my labor the favor of the lord comes to my labor then translates my labor into fortune bless the name of the lord it enhances the value of your labor favor enhances the value of, of your labor apostle paul said i am what i am by the grace of god therefore the limit of your destiny is defined by the level of your favor that operates in your life your destiny is favor limited the more favor you enjoy the more glorious your destiny and i say again every man is lim limited by the level of favor he enjoys bless the name of the lord so the more favor you enjoy the more glorious your destiny will be psalms 103 and 13 some some 102 13 102 it says this thou shall arise and have mercy upon iron for the time to favor her yes the set time is come 102 verse 14 for thy servants take pleasure in her stones and favor the dust thereof favor is important everyone needs favor jesus needed favor He even had to grow in it look 252 there is a boy here who always recited in kikuyu na ke jesu agekora and i thought the father of that boy 
must have gone to Sunday school where they were taught in the Kikuyu. Because that boy is it's kadogo to kakijana kadogo to. Na kanaongea kikuyu poa kana recite hiyo Psalm 252. Jesus increased in wisdom, in stature, <laughs> but, but with the favor with God and man. The same was true of Samuel the prophet in 1 Samuel 2 and verse 26. He grew also. Favor, favor was upon him. Bless the name of the Lord. We live in times that the natural could get a person down. The natural. Men and women all over this country are being laid off or just in fear that they could be the next to be laid off. Perhaps you have your own business and you just never seem to make ends meet. I've come to tell you what you need is favor. Oh, I will never forget this little girl here. She was a Form 4. She had done Form 4. And she came one time in, in, in church and I think we were facing that direction. So she said, Pastor, can you pray for me? I said, yes. What do you want me to pray for? She said, pray for me. I'm going to an interview tomorrow. I said, for what? I want to be a manager. Then I asked, what are your papers? She said, I have nothing apart from the Form 4 certificate. Do you believe this is your job? She said, yes. Then, when you go there, don't answer what they have not asked you. And what you don't know, tell them, I don't know. Look at them right in the eye. You see, Jui. But what you know, take five minutes to explain it. What you know, take five minutes. Wabo na vile unajua. But what you don't know. So we prayed. She, she went and beat master's guy. People that had uh, B and so on. Because what I told her is what she did. What she could not know, she said, I don't know that. And look at them in the eye. But what she knew, she spoke five minutes. But these guys, because they had a lot of confidence, yeah, only yes, no. I can do that. I can do that. But this lady went into details how a bookshop can look like. Oh, man, you, that sister came back here and told me, Pastor, I am the manager now. Amen. It is because of favor. Not your papers. It is your favor. And I'm praying for some of you that as I speak that the Lord will help you something to arise within you. Yani, inuke ndani yako wanze kuona wewe ni mbarikiwa wabwana. Na hakisema umebarikiwa. Hakuna. Hakuna. Hata moja naweza pinga jambo lile. It seems that no one cares about you. I want you to know that favor can change that situation. Favor can change that situation forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We as God's people have the beautiful opportunity to walk in favor every day of our lives. To see people go on their way to bless us. To see people go out of their way to open doors for us. To see people go out of their way and do something that they, they have never done to anyone. That is favor. One time I was coming back from the U.S. and I'd carried a whole pickup of equipment. Thank God they are no longer here so I cannot brag myself with. But there was a big, heavy power amp. Very heavy. Then there were big speakers. Very big. And then some amplifiers and so on. The, my friend who was carrying me to the airport asked me, Jimmy, are you sure that you can go with these things? I said, yes, I'm going with them. All of them. Then you have to pay a lot of money. I said, no, I'm, I don't have it. So I don't pay anything. So we arrived at uh, uh, the International Airport in Washington. That was 1988. Niko na mizigo yangu masanduku mawiri ni mekubariwa. Na niko na vitu za kanisa ni mejaza hapa. Pick up. So I went to the counter and I said, who is the supervisor here? <laughs> supervisor hako wapi? Then they said, that lady over there, I said, wow, good. So I went to this supervisor and I said, Madam, you know what? I'm going to Africa, Nairobi, Kenya, with all this. And I'm leaving nothing behind. She said, no, 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 you can't go with it. No, I told her, no, but I'm going with all this to Africa. 
and I'm not leaving anything behind. I even sometimes ask myself, your confidence, who can you angalia unashindo, your confidence is talk wapi. Normally I don't do those things. But for this particular one, the, the, madam, it was Air France. I'm not leaving anything. She looked at me, looked at the things, looked at me again, looked at the things, and then finally she said yes. Because of favor. It's not enough. Then one time we are coming from the Canada with Alice and we have really carried. And we weighed the things and they were heavier. So we agreed we will add more money. We were ready to pay. But favor can cause some machines not to function. <laughs> no, I'm serious. We, the machines were not working actually. We, we would look at each other. I, ata hiyo imebakisha kilo 20 kilo 10 kilo 12. The machines were not working. But I think after we passed everybody else the machine was working. <laughs> Favor is not fair. And I know you have those testimonies of God opening doors and bringing people your way just to come and help you so that you can go to where you are going because favor I say again favor is not fair. Bless the name of the Lord. We as God people, people will come many, many times. Favor has changed entirely hopeless situations into just the opposite. We bless the name of the Lord. When favor is upon us, the work of our hands are confirmed. Psalms 90 verse 17. When favor is upon us, the works of our hands are confirmed. If that one can come, we can read that one. Because favor, again, is not fair. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. And establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. You know, there is a statement here that I thought it is funny. Because it simply says this. Favor will make even the damnedest. Any day, the damnest, any day, any time, anywhere, will make that person gain ability to do what nothing could have done. Yani mtu ni dami, lakini buwana anamukumbuka. Anamuinua. Sababu ni mungu. Favor can do that. Favor can lift you up. And may the favor of the Lord lift you up. May the favor of the Lord in 2015 lift you up. The people that are calling you dummy, may they see what God can do in the mighty name of Jesus. May beauty come upon you. May wealth come upon you. May wisdom come upon you. May the favor of the Lord pursue you. May the favor of the Lord overtake you in the mighty name of Jesus. Favor will do that. Favor will do that. And there are many scriptures for that. Favor produces supernatural increase and promotion. We know the story of Isaac. Isaac is having problems. And he wants to run to Egypt. But God tells him, don't. In obedience, Isaac hears God and God tells him, now plant. And he plants. And the Bible says, in that day, in that year, when there was famine, him in a famine stricken area, he harvested so much that he became so rich because he obeyed. Favor can turn a desert into a stream of water to come and water your field. Favor. Favor. Favor ni ajabu. Bara yesu apaya sifa. Favor ni ajabu. I don't know whether I have told you of this story of these guys, this, this, this friend of mine. Um, he had gotten used to be carried by economy. Economy. Not economy. Economy. So because his mind is economy, he walks, passes business class and first class and goes to look for number one and two. So he goes and he's, he's wondering, Kwani has he and is key, Pungua, and Nakuta Zinenda Ziki or Juju, Jutu, Akafika Pali, Akauliza, Ninaiza Ka anywhere, Akambu, Apana, Itikiako near Huko, Apana, what and Nikai too. Area is a good nafasi. You know, he thought, Kambua pana uko. Kwasababu kure ukifika tu. 
kwanza unapewa juice favor is not fair but some of us god favors us but we are still going to that economy tena tunatafuta kiti number 1 kule mwisho na kiti number 1 kimeanza kule kwa watu wa business see what you need to know is that when god strikes look at your ticket properly ha angalia tiketi vizuri tiketi angalia vizuri bwana this time i went to mombasa also i had not checked my ticket myself because i travel economy but i'm not the one who had bought the ticket so i'm checking in and i realize the girl that is helping me check after ameanza kusimaya ata ananiambia sasa ukienda kwa lounge oh. <laughs> ukienda kwa lounge you can register for sky blue naitwa sky blue sijui blue whatever hiyo hiyo mile you can register there they will register you so i'm wondering economy lounge kumbe my ticket was number 2 seat number 2 we si nilienda pale kunywa chai kwanza alafu hey na kurejesha hiyo kitu na unaona kila mtu ana smile na wanakuambia hutachelewa you know i thought nitawachwa na ndege naambia hutachelewa watu hawa wacheleagwi hawa ndio wanashikiria ndege but you see i'm talking to you so that you can understand how your mindset can hinder you from walking in the favor that the law brings your way because you hani kama unapasia huangalia tamatiki ti ambayo bwana amekuletea hata labda uangalie ofisi yako vile iko na strategic place where it is the favor of the lord i want to pray that it can come upon us because favor produces supernatural increase and promotion favor produces rest- restoration of everything the enemy has stolen i want to bring about a couple of things then i will be done amen now this will be there so don't you worry it's only the scriptures that will not appear there amen we are looking at an uncommon favor a couple of things number one, favor is greater than material wealth tell your neighbor neighbor favor is greater than material wealth i know some of us want wealth want wealth want wealth but favor favor there are some of you that god has favored you so much that the whole of 2014 hukuona daktari uliona tu daktari wa kiosk panadombiri inno kwa sababu umekula sana So the Lord brought favor upon you that was uncommon even last year. So it is not wealth only. You know some of us have that crazy feeling that for God to favor you there must be some wealth. No, 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 no. I want us to look at Proverbs 22 verse 1. It says this. Proverbs 22 verse 1 and I like this. A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches, loving favor rather than silver and gold. Bless the name of the Lord. That favor is more than wealth mwangalie jirani yako mwambie jirani favor sio kiatu tu ni zaidi ya kiatu haleluya i know unataka kiatu atakupatia mungu lakini favor ni zaidi ya kiatu ni zaidi ya nyumba ni zaidi ya it is beyond that favor is beyond that secondly favor is stronger than military power favor is stronger than military power Some of the battles that the Lord will win for you he will win like a big army because favor is stronger May the Lord release favor that is stronger for you to fight battles for you because favor is stronger than military power Psalms 5:12 the verse that we read for you O Lord will bless the righteous with favor and you will surround him with a shield May the Lord shield you may the favor of the Lord shield you Favor Thirdly, favor releases from bondage. Psalms 85 verse 1, Lord, you have been favorable to your land. You have brought back the captivity of Jacob. The Lord releases, the Lord brings favor and favor releases from bondage and I want to speak to someone here. If you have been walking in bondage, today the favor of the Lord is going to release you from that bondage in the name of Jesus. Whether it is financial bondage, may the Lord release you. May the favor of the Lord come upon you and release you from whatever binds you and stops you from walking to uncommon harvest and uncommon favor. Number four, spiritual wisdom 
leads to favor. You know, let me tell you, friends, spiritual wisdom will help you, will help you, will help you. Unajua, ukitoka kwa barabara pale inje, unaangaliaga, ya buni kukumbushe labda ulisaha, unaangaliaga kushoto na kulia. Ukiangalia kushoto tena, sasa unavuka, kwa sababu gani unanza na kushoto, kwa sababu gari ambayo itakugonga kwanza, iko kushoto. Ukivuka ya kulia ndiyo inaweza kukugonga. Ah, amjui vile magali iko. Naona wengine mnachanga. Kwa hivyo wewe unaangalia kushoto kwa? Iko hapa inaweza kukungea hapa tu. Ya kulia iko wapi? Kule. Sasa ile ukiona ni mbali uangalie kushoto tena unaweza vuka. Akili ni nywele na kila mtu ana zake isipokuwa wale wamenyolewa ngurutu kwa sababu Ya, ya, ya kitu kigine. Unajua kuna wangine tumeamua. You know. <laughs> Somebody shared a joke, a joke with us uh, just the other day with Alice. We were in the office here. There were ladies. So they, they went to the, to the ladies at Hilton. Now, when they went out and they were looking for something to go back into the same toilet. Huh? And as they were, I know there are some ladies that can remember that because they were with those ladies. So when they were coming back, they saw someone shaved with a military uniform, our security vetu, coming from the same, the same toilet. And they got a shock. That lady realized they were shocked. So she started saying, I'm a woman. I'm a woman. But they looked at her. She was shaved properly and the chest looked flat and she was uh, in her... Uh, Kauka. And they were so scared. But she said, no, 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 no. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. Oh, I thought that was a real joke. <laughs> because they were shaved. The, the lady was shaved. Hakuwa na nyueli. Najua wa mama nyueli enu ndiyo utuku. Wenu. Kwa hivyo safadhali weka nyueli. Wadada weka nyueli. Weka nyueli. Hallelujah. Wisdom. Hakili. Wisdom. 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 Proverbs 14.35 The king's favor is towards a wise servant. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. But his wrath is against him who causes shame. Wisdom is important. Number five. Do what is right. Doing what is right brings favor. First Peter 2.20 For what credit is it if when you are beaten for your faults you take it patiently? But when you do good and suffer, you take it patiently. But this is commendable before God. Doing what is right brings favor. And I want to pray that God will help you to do what is right. Don't corrupt, don't steal, and you are still calling it the favor of God. That is not the favor of God. That is bringing shame to him. But do what is right, and God will commend you. Bless the name of the Lord. And it may take a little longer than usual. You know, it might take a few years than others, but it will still come. And when it comes, it will be good. Bless the name of the Lord. Favor. Favor. Doing what is right brings favor. Number six, favor breaks the power of shame and disgrace. I love this. I love this. I love this. Favor. Favor. Favor and doing avunja mambo ya aibu na disgrace. You, you know, we could be walking in, in shame. We are ashamed. We are embarrassed. But favor of the Lord is the one that comes and breaks those things that shame us and disgrace us. In Luke chapter 1, this is a story that we know. Luke chapter 1 verse 28 to 30. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, high, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his say, and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, you have found favor with God. You see, the disgrace, but this woman is lifted and she becomes the carrier of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Lord can lift you. Amen. The Lord can lift you. But I pray that if God lifts you up, don't puff yourself up. You know, one of the, the things that Mwede will be talking to us from Wednesday is 
altars. And you know, altars are very special because Jacob built an altar in Bethel. And as he went, when he came back, he had to go back to his Bethel. But some of us, when God has blessed us, and I pray that God will bless you, you forget your Bethel. I met some, someone last week who said, Bishop, I want to come back for my blessing. They have realized the altar here had their blessing. But some of us don't realize it until you go, you wander, and you, you kind of remember, oh, I had an altar somewhere. Because this altar defends some of you. This altar is where your blessing is. Now, ukisha barikiwa, ni kuambia vile wengine walikuwa kiniambia wakihama. Bishop, tugeli ya maari. Gali eno ya kwa nera. Ira, nitagi kohari, akira anuga, kioro. You know, you know, uh, that's what I'm saying is that people God blessed you <laughs> and all of a sudden Zimmerman start smelling all of a sudden imagine it was perfumed to you as the Lord worked you miracle and corrogated your faith and opened doors for you and the fever of the Lord was upon you and you moved from Zimmerman to that place and then from that place to that place and now you are driving Karumia there and you have a problem with it touching some. Some of you have no idea what this altar means to you. But those that know it, wherever they will go, they will honor the altar here. And that's the prayer that I pray for you. I know God will bless you. God will prosper you. But remember, don't let your mouth speak certain things that cancel the blessings that the Lord has brought you. Because if the Lord blessed you when it was thinking, he is the one that is going to perfume us. Because God is going to perfume us one of these days. God is going to perfume us. And by the way, hako kamuto kalikuwa kitinatumaji, kalika uka. Kakaya kwa mutaro chini. Si, ni buwana tu. Na wengine, tulikuwa tukakakanyanga tu. Na tukienda town, wata unauliza, we, bishop, kwani umepitia wapia. Kwani kwenu bado kunyanyesha. I know some of you understand how, how, how humbling it is. We umetoka, dunia yote imekauka, lakini migu yako inaonecha ikona kamatope na maji. But I thank God. I thank God. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Shame. It has the power to break shame and disgrace. Shame and disgrace. Oh, favor has that. Oh, favor has that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You know, I look back at the story of this church and I see favor, what favor has done. Because one time we were trying to buy two plots here. The cost was 70, 73 or 74,002. One was 37, the other one was 37. And um, one church, without mentioning the church, I thought they have money. And actually they had money of our fellowship. So I took my eldership to go and borrow money. And they looked at me and looked my my elders. I don't know how we looked. But maybe now I can say how we looked. Wakasema mutalipa na nini? Then I told my leaders, ku unetuwa imuo. Uko tumenyimuwa tuende kwa wegine. When we were crisscrossing now from one church to another, we got to Lusaka in the industrial area where there is, um, uh, is it Kenokobil or something? Or, or Libya. Now it's Libya there. They said, stop. They told me to stop. I was driving them with my Volkswagen, which was the vehicle for the moment. Hiyo ingia kwa maenewea. Inji ni konyuma ni kanasukuma, kanapiga pap, kanapanda. So we stopped. They told me, Bishop, let's analyze what we were told. We analyzed. And they said, they used a word that I will not use here because they were all kikuyus. So they got annoyed. Said, we will not. Let's go home. So we came back. And after a month, we had a fans drive. We invited people to come and give us money. That church that we thought had money, we also invited them. And they came. But they gave us nothing. They came with calculators. When I stood with my elders, I gave my portion, and all the elders gave their portion. 
the elders themselves and myself, we had over 100. So they left. Actually, they were so embarrassed, they left. They never gave anything, but they just left. But you know what? From that place, the favor of God removed us from disgrace because it has power. Today, they borrow from us. And we lend them. Favor has a way of lifting people. May the favor of the Lord lift you from a lender, from a borrower to a lender. Oh, and I like this. Oh, I like this. This is good. This is good. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, this is good. Now, if you want to become a lender, look at someone you can lend. Because you see, if you want to become a lender, you have to start somewhere. Walk to someone and say, where did I go? Where did I go? Where because I want to be a lender, not a borrower. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You rise to another level. If you want that favor to lead you from disgrace, then you have to get to a place where you say, Hata kama una nyingi, tafuta mdu mkopeshe mia, bili. Yeah. Na umambia usilipe haraka. Kaka kibonai. Yeah. Yeah. Favor. Favor brings supernatural increase and promotion. This happened to Joseph in Genesis 39. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy. And he gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of prison. Because favor, favor. Ooh. Huh? Favor. 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 Oh man, favor. Look at your neighbor, tell them, neighbor, do you know what favor is? If they say yes, tell them, please tell me. Tell me. I want to know what is favor. Huh? Favor to kidogo. To favor ni nini iyo, favor iyo, iyo, favor iyo. Na tumezungumza mamo mengi. Hamu kusikia kitu? I said nothing. I said nothing. Favor. Si tu simame, dake kamoja tu. Look at a good neighbor, tell them, neighbor, I want to preach to you. And I also want to bless you, neighbor. You have a good neighbor? Tell them, neighbor, I'm releasing upon you favor, which is greater than material wealth. In the mighty name of Jesus. Look at your neighbor again. Tell them, neighbor, I release to you favor, which is stronger than the military power. Receive it. Amen. Is he receiving? If he is not, look at another one. And tell them, neighbor, I release to you favor that releases from bondage. Receive it. Is he receiving? Look at one that receives. What are we going to receive? Tafuta mtu wa kureceive. Mwambie, neighbor, I want to release to you spiritual wisdom that leads to favor. Receive it. Neighbor, remember this. Doing what is right will bring favor to you. Do what is right and favor will be yours. Receive it. Tell the neighbor, favor breaks the power of shame and disgrace. May you receive that favor that will break the power of shame and the power of disgrace. Receive it! Neighbor, favor brings supernatural increase and promotion. May you receive
receive supernatural increase. May you receive supernatural promotion. In Jesus' name, receive it.